This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So, actually in the morning I got a mail from one candidate that, hey Naveen, can you please explain what is character sequence in Senkeys? And I personally believe that, okay, yeah, I have never covered this topic on my channel. Although I was already aware about it, but it actually it did not click in my mind that, okay, yeah, I could have covered the small topic as well. So what is character sequence in send keys method? If you <clears throat> notice one thing, so whenever we have, let's see, I have created this particular web element, driver.find element by.id, right? On the basis of username. Let's see, this is the uh, this is the guy. This is the text field I'm gonna inspect. And you see that uh, id is equal to username, right? And uh, I have created one web element. And the moment I write web element, email id dot send keys i can pass anything right naveen at the rate gmail.com or test one two three or whatever right so this is the standard way we have already seen that and if you quickly run it you will see that it is launching the browser it will launch the url and then it will let me show you yeah and it will enter whatever the value we are passing test value it is entering what I'm saying is, what if I want to enter multiple values? I want to enter a character sequence. This is what I'm talking about. If you know the signature of send keys, send key says that, okay, character sequence dot, dot, dot keys to send. And if you mouse over on send keys also, what exactly the parameter it is saying that character sequence three dot, it means you can give me multiple parameters. So this is called multiple parameter. It will behave like an array parameter. And then you can pass multiple string parameters and then whatever the keys to okay you want to send you can send it so i'll show you uh two to three different ways with the help of a string builder a string buffer and combination of a string builder and a string buffer how can we use those things so whatever i have shown you just let's see i'm passing only naveen this is my email id or my username naveen at the rate gmail.com a single string that we have already seen that so this is the first way i have that by using string and passing a string right okay i don't want to do this like this so what if i want to pass multiple strings so in that case what we have to do i'll create one string builder class okay you just create the object of a string builder class let's see uh, username is equal to new string builder okay and then simple use a dot one method is there append why append method is available in a string builder because a string builder is mutable class we can append existing value with the existing strings so let's say i'm writing append uh, let's say something like this navi right and again i'll write dot append and then i put some space let's see this kind of space then dot append I write one more string that see uh, Naveen automation dot append again some space and then I'll write dot append and write something labs right Naveen automation labs and uh, let's see I'll write one more space over there after that this is space and dot so dot append okay i'll write selenium okay so this is a string builder object that i have created and it's having all these strings with okay with appended naveen space automation space labs okay space selenium it's the same string in the same object i have created now you do one thing email dot send keys you simply use email dot send keys and whatever this username the entire string builder username you pass it over there okay and then you run it and then you see the output how exactly it is entering the things over there so it is launching the browser and you can see that it's entering like this naveen space automation space labs space selenium although this is not the email id but i'm just giving you an example that you can put you can experiment or you can use the same thing on any other text field Okay, so like this also we can do it, right? Okay, now this is the second way by using string builder. Okay, 
So I'm going to comment all these ways. Okay. Third option I'll be using with the help of a string buffer. So a string buffer also I'll be using. So what exactly <coughs> I'll do, I'll just do create the object of a string buffer. String buffer, let's see, same username is equal to new string buffer, right? Dot append, I'll append with the same thing. Let's see, I'll use all these types once again. The string buffer is also mutable, so we can use append and let me uncomment all these things. Okay, Naveen Automation Labs I'm writing and same username I'll be passing over there. So first time, second time I created a string builder, now I'm creating with a string buffer. So let's see with the string buffer also it's working or not. So I'll run it again. It's launching the browser and uh, once the login is displayed, you will see that, uh, yeah, can you see that? Naveen Automation Labs Selenium. It is working, fine. Okay, so this is the third option. Another option is that you can use the combination of the string builder, the string buffer, as well as some strings also you can use it. So that also I'll show you right away. So let me go to the fourth option that I'll be using string builder together. Then I'll be using string buffer. Then I'll be using a normal string like this. And then I'll be using keys also. Okay, that uh, keys enum also we will be using. So how to use that? So for that, what exactly I'll do that uh, first, whatever the string builder that we have created this thing, we just copy this one thing. Okay, this thing once again over here. Let me uncomment. Okay, so one string builder got created. <clears throat> then I'll take a string buffer also. Okay, and let me comment these guys. String buffer. And uh, I'll change the, this is the username. Let's see, this is the, this is, uh, uh, let's see, I'll write user info, another string I'll create. And I'll do one thing that I'll create in between. I'll create one string that is called space is equal to like this one space a string I'll create. Okay. So I have created a string builder and then a string buffer also I have created. And in string buffer, let's say I'll put some other information that uh, instead of Naveen Automation Labs, I'll be writing test. Okay. Web driver like this. That's it. Okay. Not more than that. Only two strings I'll pass. Test web driver. And then again, okay, like this. And then I'll write one more string, something like this. Let's see string uh, author is equal to who is the author let's say i'm writing my full name Ravi Kureda. okay so this is the thing i have written so how many strings we have we have username then we have space then you have user info then we have author now i'll do one thing one by one you can pass all the characters sequence like right? you just pass username comma Okay, then you put some space, comma, then you pass your user info, comma, and then you pass one more space once again, let's see space, comma, and then the author name. Okay, author name like this. And then you can pass your keys dot tab also, you can pass it like this. So this is also a valid Syntax, send keys is taking, saying that, okay, you can pass the character sequence, character sequence to send to the element. So exactly same sequence it will pass. It will pass first username, then put a space, then user info, put a space, then author, and then keys dot tab. Okay, tab out. Now you see, let's see it is working or not. So once the login is displayed, let's see, you can see that, right? It's exactly entering the values, Naveen Automation Labs, and then Selenium, then space, test space, web driver space, Naveen Kurita, like this. And then finally tab out. That's why the moment I tab out, that's why it's saying, okay, please enter a valid email ID. 
So I'll show you once again. Let's run it again. So the 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 control on it's not available on the text field. Immediately it got tabbed out. That's why tabbed out means that's why it's coming on the password field. So that's why I'm using keys dot tab just to show you guys. Okay, so like this also you guys can do it if you really want to enter multiple values like this. You can use it. So this is the purpose of character sequence, guys. So if someone is asking you at a time of interview, what do you mean by character sequence in send keys? This is what is the character sequence that we are. Okay, they are talking about. So this is a this is a good interview question. People might ask you. Most of the people they just pass like this at whatever the first option that we have selected. Just pass a normal string like this. But along with the string, this is also right way. You can pass a string builder, a string buffer. You can use the combination of multiple uh, strings, and then that also in a sequence also you can pass. Let's say you have created five strings, and then uh, in a sequence you can pass five strings, comma separated strings you can pass. So character sequence means three dot. You can see that three dot. It means multiple parameters, multiple string parameters, character sequence parameters you can pass. And character sequence parameter means all the string. uh family classes a string builder a string and a string buffer all these three classes objects you can pass it with character sequence parameter three dot means multiple parameters of a string you can pass okay and keys to send whatever the key you want to send like this right in fact keys dot tab also it will give you keys dot tab also it is an enum and which is used for the tabbing out so like that also you can use it so that's what i already really wanted to cover you can apply on any okay element any text field element and 100% it will work guys so this is a very small thing i really wanted to cover i hope you liked it and you can use in your uh, framework you can create a separate utility for this okay for this method as well thank you so much thanks for watching this particular video guys so uh first of all uh, just a small uh, favor please subscribe to the channel and please click on the notification icon is there right a the bell icon is there what is happening that okay the the moment you click on it immediately for a new video you will be notified immediately so a lot of new things a lot of interesting stuff okay i'll be uploading on my channel in next couple of months so i want to okay you should not miss any particular video about that okay so thanks for watching and please if you have any comments please write in the comment section thank you so much guys